I'm Kate, and today I'm training with Victoria Beckham's personal trainer. I'm super excited as I'm on my way to meet Bobby Rich, who's trained Victoria in her switch to strength training. It seems she's been doing movements like a barbell overhead squats, some tricep dips, resistance band work, and ground to overheads. Hi, Bobby. Thank you so much for coming in today. Could you please walk us through what the first move is going to be? Thank you very much for having me. So we're going to kick off today with quite a large movement. We're going to have a pull, a press, and some rotation in it. Okay, so as you approach the landmine, I want to angle your knee and your ankle in line with the head of the Olympic bar, okay? Come back, keep that knee back away from your toes. Keep that chest up, weight through your back knee. So you've almost got two right angles, okay? Now, catch the head of the bar. Find that comfortable position. As I drive up, bring my elbow up nice and high, keeping that bar relatively close to your body. Once you get to that peak part of the movement, that's when this arm comes into play. You're twisting that foot, turning your face, heading towards the base of the landmine. Catch, rotate. Most of the emphasis is pushing that weight up and getting it away from you, but don't be caught out as you come down in the negative part of the movement. Catch it, keep strong posture, chest up, stop, drive, go again. Now you can take off the floor, brace yourself, feel good, okay? Now from there, let's just practice that push off the floor, pulling up, keeping that close to your body. Once you're comfortable, turn, catch, press, good. Now when you bring that back arm into it, I want a little bit more explosion from that back leg and press all at once. That's it, confidence, good. So what does Victoria's weekly routine with you look like? Does she do a mixture of cardio and strength? So throughout the year, yes, she does a mixture of cardio and strength. Um, there's been a big shift in the last few years, been a lot of focus on strength with her. However, week on week, it's very different. It depends on what uh, training block we're on, whether that's hypertrophy, whether that's strength, whether it's power, power endurance. Hi hypertrophy session might, or a block might be six to eight weeks. We might do a strength session of six weeks. Her training block's also dictated by schedules. Victoria tends to train Monday to Friday, significantly hard during the week and she will take the Saturday and Sunday off. And then a strength session, we'll want that two to two and a half minutes, three minutes rest in between each set. They may take up to 90 minutes. The power endurance session, which might be 30 minutes. So for the next move today, we're gonna go to an old fashioned deadlift. Okay, so you're gonna approach the bar. We wanna try and keep that bar close to our body as much as we can throughout the movement. From here, you're gonna break from the hips. So pushing your bum down, keeping that chest up, keeping that weight in my heels. I'm just gonna turn my elbows back towards the back of the room. It's gonna engage my scaps, my lats, driving through my glutes first. <sighs> Neutral spine. Break from your hips, pushing back into your heels. Touch down, give it a go. Okay, so let's take your feet under the bar. Let's walk towards, approach the bar. Okay, let's have a little bit of a wider stance. So your feet are just beyond your hips. Okay, now break from your hips and sit down. That's it, let your arms hang, catch that bar. Now you're just gonna stay in that position slowly. Let's rotate those elbows back. Let's engage your lats, your scaps, keeping your shoulders down and low. Now, think about you being pulled up from your ponytail, driving up through your glutes first, chest up, three, two, one, breathe out. Excellent. Great neutral spine. Reset, elbows back, big breath in, breathe out, drive. Good. And down, excellent, good. Victoria's previously spoken about switching from cardio to strength training. What are the benefits of this? Yes, Victoria used to do a lot of cardiovascular work, um, which of course has its own benefits. Um, healthy heart, healthy lungs. It's a must, um, but it's not a must on its own. So what we did, we slowly integrated um, strength training over time, but cardiovascular is still very much present in her training, but up till now and for the last couple of years, it's been way more skewed towards resistance training and strength training. So how should people effectively combine strength and cardio? The big factor in that is people's schedule um, and what they're prioritizing. Um, are they strong already? Have they done a lot of resistance training? And do they just want to focus on their cardiovascular training or vice versa? Um, how much time do you have in a week is, is a key factor. You know, if you've got five, if you've got room for five sessions in a week, 
then you can find quite a nice balance where you can get a good portion of strength training in with some cardiovascular training in. If you've only got two sessions a week that you can go and train or three, then prioritize what's important to you. Do you want to focus on your strength this week with a little bit of cardio, then maybe the following week, then switch it around to upscale the cardio and downplay the, the resistance. What rest and recovery advice do you give Victoria? Rest a lot, eat well, sleep. I constantly check in on sleep. So what are the most common issues you find your clients face? Consistency is the biggest thing. We're lucky in this day and age now that if there's a lot of travel on the schedule that we can do remote. What advice do you have for someone who's having trouble sticking to an exercise routine? Don't overpromise yourself um, on what you can achieve if you're not training at all. Don't think you're gonna do five days a week. You know, if you're doing once, do twice a week, along with find something you love. So third and final move, we're gonna do some upper body pulling in the form of a single arm row. I'm gonna to aim to maintain a nice flat back, okay? And as little rolling as possible. We want to find a nice big smooth movement. We're gonna be pulling that weight slightly back just into this pocket, keeping your shoulder away from your ear. Nice long neck, okay? From here, big deep breath in, breathe out, pull back and release. Now, that pullback is gonna start from your scap, okay? So from here, I want you to think about that movement as opposed to letting your bicep doing all the work and just dragging up here and then maybe a little squeeze at the top. So let's set your frame up, keeping this flat back. Now, take your leg out to the side just a little bit. Have a little bit of bend in your knee. That's it, a little soft, perfect. Okay, let's grab the dumbbell. That's your starting position. Now, keeping that arm straight, no pulling, from the bicep, mm -hmm. I just want you to pull your shoulder blade back. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now, do exactly the same again, but keeping your shoulder down. So pulling back and lower a little bit from here. That's it. Mm -hmm. Keep that elbow straight and down again. Now this time, you're gonna do the same thing, but once you've gone as far as you can with that squeeze just from your shoulder blade, you're gonna bring your lat into it and pull that weight in towards the side of your body. So here. That's it. Breathe out, pull. Good. Okay, now let's make that just a little bit more seamless so I don't see the two positions. That's it, good. And now bring that weight back a little bit more. That's it, perfect. Breathe out, good. Why are these the three top moves that you use with Victoria? Do you change it up for each person you're working with? So these are three of maybe five fundamental movements that I use. They're not unique just to Victoria. I use them across many of my clients. Um, you can scale them up, you can scale them down, but they are five fundamental movements that I think everyone as a human being should be strong at. So there should be a press off the floor. So a squat, a pulling off the floor, maybe a deadlift, uh, pressing weight away from you. Let's talk about a chest press or a bench press and then pulling weight towards you, whether it's single arm row that we did today, or that might even be a pull up. Okay, but then the last one would be being sufficient in some sort of rotation. I think as individuals for day-to-day -day life and performance for day-to-day -day life, let alone sport, we need to be strong at these and look at those foundations. So how would you say your approach is different from other trainers? A few years ago, I would have said it was very different. Um, I come from a performance background, um, judo, and I train my clients, like I said, much like I train myself um, as an athlete. Um, I look at the year ahead, and we do blocks of training in accordance to what's coming up. But I'm happy to say that the industry has moved forward significantly in the last several years where there's some great coaches out there that are being very considerate with their programming and they have the same sort of approach, which is much more sustainable for people trying to get fitter and stronger, um, trying to get away from these quick fixes of the four to six weeks to eight week programming that's gonna change someone's life. You know, this is a, a, a lifetime journey. So it appears that Victoria has been making progress through good old fashioned hard work and commitment. So no shortcut for us there, unfortunately, but it's great that Bobby emphasizes the importance of rest. I really like that we got a barbell involved because those are great for building strength on those bigger lifts. And it's a versatile piece of equipment that can be used to hit many major muscle groups. I also appreciate that Bobby says he focuses on fundamental movement patterns. So for example, the rotation, the press away from the body and the pull off the floor, and that he tries not to overcomplicate things because that makes it much less daunting for someone who might be struggling to stay consistent with a routine. So thank you so much, Bobby, for working with me today, and I hope we can all see progress that resembles Victoria's in the near future.